What's happening in our real estate market globally? Well, that is the question of the hour. Hi everyone, my name is Christy with the Flannery team at Remax of Stewart, and this is your national market update. First off, let me just start by saying that I'm reporting what analysts and real estate experts across the nation are actually predicting. I personally, nor anyone else, can control or predict what will actually happen. However, according to Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and several other analysts, they are predicting economic growth in the third quarter ranging from 15 to 25%. A graph statistic from Opportunity Insight shows that most businesses ranging from healthcare to transportation all had a decline in consumer spending in the first half of the year with the exceptions of groceries, but let's face it, we all have to eat. Groceries actually went up. So it's good news that the predictions from the analysts are that we will see progress in the third quarter as compared to the first half of the year. In fact, according to Lisa Shallot, who is the chief investment officer of Morgan Stanley, she states, and I quote, indeed, the worst ever GDP reading could be followed by the best ever growth in the third quarter. So we're definitely starting to see a rebound. Small businesses obviously have been impacted hard due to the stresses and the issues that are happening across the globe. But how has this impacted the real estate market nationally? Well, I'm gonna show you a few quotes from several economists and several real estate analysts regarding the recovery of the housing market. And what's very interesting, it almost reads like a movie trailer. Realtor.com says, astonishing rebound. Housing Wire says, shockingly strong. Adam Data Solutions says, pulled something out of a high wire act in the second quarter. Zillow, stared the pandemic right in the eye and hasn't blinked. And last but not least, Myers Research says, has been nothing short of remarkable. So it seems that housing may play a critical role in the recovery. Since about the middle of May, the weekly showings of housings, people are out in full force looking at homes across the nation. And the real estate industry, well, some of us, have really taken innovation and technology to the next level in order to keep the housing market strong. We've been doing virtual open houses so potential buyers can still see the homes that they would normally see during an open house weekend. We have been doing 360 degree home tours as well as FaceTiming our clients as we've been walking through the homes all so these buyers can see the homes and purchase these homes. And now, people are out in full force now more than they have been previously throughout the entire year. According to the National Association of Realtors, the housing market index looks into four things, demand, supply, price, and time on the market. It combines those together and creates an index. And we saw a rise and then a dip down, and now we are above what we were in February of this year, so it shows that we are strongly recovering. So the question is, what's gonna happen with pricing? What should you do? Well, continue watching these series and I will dive deep into those very issues. Chris Steele here with the Flannery team at Remax of Stewart and I cannot wait to keep you informed. Thank you all so much for watching and be on the lookout for more videos in this series where I answer those questions. Thank you all again. Reboot, I'm cold, my service automated, like data running through my